Here's a quick video showing F Expansion's BFD3, and I'm going to be showing how to make multi outs. A lot of people want to have record on their MIDI drums or program MIDI drums, and then you want to have it separate wave files for each drum. Uh, a lot of people, when they're mixing or doing post effects, need that. So it's actually only three steps. It doesn't take very long to do at all. Uh, I'm just going to play a quick drum beat for you, and then we'll go upstairs to the computer and I'll show you how to do it. That should be more than enough. Um, I'll go upstairs and I'll show you how we do that now. Okay, so I have Reaper loaded up. That's the program we use to record. Right here's my MIDI track that I recorded with the electric drums. You won't be able to hear it just because of my screen capture program, but uh, it's all the same. Yep, seems to work fine. If I double click, you can actually see all the MIDI hits. So the first step is to click on FX, load up BFD3. Here's where I like to uh, edit my what drums I'm using, change the effects, all that kind of stuff. Once you get them sounding how you want, right click the top, build multi-channel routing for output of selected effects. See it's going to create the stereo and mono tracks here. Okay. Um, if you actually see right here too, it creates one mono track for every channel. I would actually go in and edit this because sometimes it'll put two mono tracks onto as a stereo track and I don't like that. But that's that could be another video. So now we have our tracks, but when we play it, you see it's uh, not showing up down here. Now we gotta assign the drums. So if you right click here, auto assign outputs mix down or direct. Let's try mix down. Let's try direct. There we go. That's when we want direct. So if I solo this, oops, solo it. It's just kick drum, kick drum, sub kick. So everyone has its own output now. Perfect. That's what we wanted. Next, starting at track three here. Hold on your shift key and to 26. We'll arm them. Make sure you don't have your MIDI track armed or your, that track. I must have missed a couple. Here we go. Alright, so that looks good to me. And now the next step right click. You want to record the output of those tracks. We'll do it in stereo now. You can do mono or stereo, depending if you split them into mono tracks. There we go. Oh, make sure you select them all, though. Try that. So now everything's armed. We should go up to the top and hit the record button. So you have to play it in real time. I can hear my drums playing right now. I'll just let it finish. A few of these tracks aren't being used. That's why they're empty. So you would save that. And there you have it. Separate uh, wave files of actual sounds. And now you could actually go and do effects and do add compression, EQ, everything like you would on recording an acoustic kit. And if you have to send them off to uh, someone for mixing and mastering, they probably prefer the files like this anyways. So, thanks a lot. Subscribe, click like, and if you want more, I'll keep making them.